$940,000. That's how much money is going into the Westmoreland school system, and all of it is being allocated for high tech security. So it's really taking the security that we already have in place and ratcheting it up. Rocco Migliori is the superintendent of the near 1,000 student Westmoreland Central School District, and he says New York State Education Department funds are going to three areas of security enhancement. We want to increase surveillance. So we'll be adding additional cameras, both internal and external. A replacement order of around 40 tri-directional cameras. All staff members will have swipe-in badges to, to enter, so we'll have a record of who's coming and who's going. An update to the current electronic key fob access. And then there's also a campus notification system. Clocks to be equipped with two-way audio capabilities between classrooms and administration, plus a screen to report incidents. Principals also having the ability to conduct lockdowns remotely. New York voters approved the Smart Schools Bond Act in 2014. That allowed Westmoreland to submit an investment plan of their own last year. Migliori says the application was not in response to specific threats, rather a continuation to keep kids and staff safe. Columbine changed everything. So I think there's been a heightened sense of awareness since then. Um, I, don't, I don't know if any of this is, is reactionary to what's been happening. I think it's just continued good practice. Now, Superintendent Migliori tells me the new security features will not be implemented across the district until this fall, citing state approval of the Westmoreland plan coming late this past school year. Reporting, I'm Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.